During the Cold War, the US would use spy satellites to take pictures of the Soviet Union. But this was in the 60s, way before the onset of digital cameras. How did they send pictures taken from space back down to Earth? The secret Corona spy satellites used up to 10 kilometers of film to take pictures of what is now Russia. After they used up all that film, they'd shoot it off of the satellite into film canisters called film buckets. These would fly through Earth's atmosphere and then pop a parachute. But this is during the Cold War. You can't have anyone know what you're up to. So before it even hits the ocean, they'd send a plane to capture it mid-air, just like Batman. If they failed to catch it, the Navy was there waiting to pick it up from the ocean. And just like Mission Impossible, these things would self-destruct. The salt water would dissolve a salt plug at the bottom of these canisters after two days. The ocean water would destroy the film and sink the canisters to the bottom of the ocean. Nowadays, satellites send digital images via radio and microwaves down to Earth. Film satellites are a thing of the past. It's crazy what the military would do to get the advantage, right? In fact, you can learn more about this unholy marriage between the military and the space realm in Neil deGrasse Tyson's book, Accessory to War. Bye.